गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर एज ए टीचर आई एम प्लीज टू नोट दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैव अपॉइंटेड एन ओल्ड टीचर डॉक्टर कोठारी एज द चेयरमैन ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट्स कमीशन वी आर प्राउड ऑफ हिज स्कॉलरशिप एंड ऑफ हिज डिवोशन टू ड्यूटी एंड वी फील दैट अंडर हिज एबल गाइडेंस द यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट्स कमीशन वुड बी एबल टू रेंडर इंक्रीजिंग सर्विस टू द कॉज ऑफ एजुकेशन इन दिस कंट्री आई एम ग्लैड टू नो फ्रॉम द एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर दैट द यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रांट्स कमीशन एंड द एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री आर फंक्शनिंग हारमोनियसली बट आई विश to point out that in the last report of the university grants commission the commission pointed out certain difficulties in carrying out its responsibilities i do not know what steps were taken afterwards to remove those difficulties and to ensure to the university grants commission autonomy which is its due sir we are holding conferences of the ministers of education and conferences of the vice chancellors of the universities and i feel that we should also hold conferences of the chairman of the university grants commissions of various states in spite of that jurisdiction we are holding conferences of vice chancellors of universities and we are dealing with various educational questions if there are no university grants commissions in certain states and if they are not functioning properly it is the duty of the education minister at the center to deal with that problem also in the conference of the ministers of education of the various states if they find some difficulty in having a conference of the chairman of the university grants commissions of the various states i do submit that the universities are not functioning as autonomously as perhaps the education minister wished them to function i know that in the last report of the university grants commission it was said that freedom is vital to good education and democracy and i know that our education minister today also repeated the same idea in other words but i am afraid that interference in university education is rather increasing the bureaucratic spirit is tending to dominate the university life much more than it do when we were under the british regime universities in certain states are tending to be instruments of the government policies intra party conflicts at government level and often conflicts between the state governments and the union government in certain cases cause difficulties in the administration i do know that for the present state of affairs teachers and students are to an extent responsible but i beg to submit that the higher authorities are in no way less responsible for the present state of affairs in our universities without mentioning names 
we know that proper care is not taken in the appointment of vice chancellors if the system of election has failed selection by government has proved no better so far as the cries of the vice chancellors are concerned in many universities the directors of education are chosen as vice chancellors and have reason to believe that their selection is in general resented by the professors of the universities concerned i do admit that some of the directors of education might be fit even to be in charge of universities but i do feel that if the government wish that persons in charge of secondary education should also take interest in university education it is proper to appoint them as university professors before they are appointed as vice chancellors of universities i have in mind a person like dr amarnath jha who belonged to the provincial education service he served as a university professor had experience of university education and then when he became the vice chancellor of the university he discharged his duties as vice chancellor admirably well i wish to point out that personal character wide human sympathy interest and understanding of university education capacity for leadership faith in the democratic ideals reputation for learning and confidence of the authorities are absolutely necessary in a good vice chancellor and proper care should be taken in devising ways and means for selecting proper persons as vice chancellors of universities i welcome the new pay scales of teachers of the central universities i do wish to point out that there is a great need for the amalgamation of the grades of lecturers and readers most of the teacher conflicts are due to these two grades of lecturers and readers and greater harmony will prevail among teachers in case the two grades subject to certain efficiency bar are amalgamated i do feel that there is no marked difference in the abilities of teachers of central and state universities and there is need for equalization of the pay of teachers of the state universities whoever may be responsible for the difference in pay the country would suffer if there is no equalization of pay because this affection would continue and this will tend to spoil the university life and standards i wish to point out that some system of transfers should be encouraged by the university grants commission